Hey guys, it's my heart on display here, and I am back with another unboxing. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing for you guys, which is kind of what I've started this channel on to begin with. I haven't been having anything come in, but as you've seen in my previous March haul video, uh, which I will link in the top corner for you guys to view if you haven't seen it already, I had some interesting stuff to unbox, and none of that is for this video. <laughs> So after the March haul, I did have my Ami Ami pre-orders come in, and I had a few Nendoroids specifically that I planned to unbox, but there was one that I was particularly excited for, uh, one that I've been waiting for uh, for a few months now, and now I am super excited to unbox Chica. I have Kaguya. I also did an unboxing video for Miyuki Shirogane, and the set completes here with Chika Fujiwara. Now, Chika, I gotta say, she's my favorite character in Kaguya-sama Love is War. She is so quirky, she is so funny, she's so friendly, she's always got her friends back, she's always ready to call out BS when she sees it too, and she is definitely like, I would say that she's like the main character without being the main character. Like, everyone is like obsessed with Chika, I'm obsessed with Chica. So I actually have a scale figure of Chica on the way as well. I don't remember the company. I'll go ahead and see if I can find that and then I'll leave like, you know, an excerpt here of what that was. I'll also insert a picture of her here. Now you can see she is gorgeous, but I also needed to fill that need in the meantime. And I wasn't about to get the, the Chica cat figure which you can see here just because the price was not something that I could have justified this for um, if it was maybe you know around like 145 yen then sure I would consider it but from what I checked last time it was around 186 yen in most places and that wasn't including shipping so I decided to 86 that one uh, but we do have you know the other Chica pre-ordered and hopefully she'll be on the way uh, later this year so I know that you guys came for the unboxing. Uh, she's fresh out of pre-order, so hopefully this will give you guys a better idea on whether or not you should pick up Chica as well. So this is gonna be an exciting unboxing. I can't wait to do this. And I hope that you enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so starting here with the unboxing, we have the Nendoroid box here. Off the bat, I have already noticed that this is following a similar theme to the other Kaguya-sama Nendoroids. We had Kaguya, who had a red and black box. We had uh, Shirogane, uh, Miyuki as well, who had a blue box. And then you have Chika, who has the yellow box. So we're looking at primary colors here. You'll see here that it does display her Nendroid number 1434, as well as the series that she's from. And it looks like this one's being done by Toy Tech. Uh, distributed through Good Smile. Here on the sides, we do have the cute Chica pose. We have Detective Chica with her cute hat. And then we also have her paired together with Kaguya. It is so adorable. I may display them together like that, but I also do want to keep all three of them together in a similar fashion. You have her crying needy pose here. It is so cute. It definitely fits Chica. And then optional, you do have the uh, the background that's inside the box, which is more of like the uh, the layering inside the box. Uh, all three of the Kaguya-sama Nendoroids do have that same type of background, and you can pose them all together. We've got the Cherry Chica, uh, similar to the Chica dance, which she's you know pointing, she's feeling her her musical fantasy there, and I love to see it. Um, and this is a really cute, pleasant pose for Chica here, and she's also got the hearts on the box. Now I'll go ahead and give her an open, and we can go ahead and see what's inside. Now in the blister pack already, you can see you've got Chica with her bow attached, her additional hat, her cute faces. She comes with two faces. I wish there was another one. And then you've got her hand gestures as well that are here. Also, you've got dialogue here at the bottom. I believe they all have different types of dialogue. Uh, it's really common for Kaguya-sama to reference a lot of text in their series, uh, so that really does fit with the Nendoroid. I don't know if I'll be displaying her that way, uh, simply because 
I don't know the fully translated text of these quite yet. However, I might research that and we may get some poses out of her eventually. Who knows? Now she also has some tape sealing her blister box. Uh, not really usually tape that comes with these. It's probably because of the additional accents here for the base. Let me go ahead and get this off. And now we have the blister box open. Let's go ahead and take out Chica. Dust covers. Ah, more dust covers. Gotta love dust covers. But look, she's so cute. I was actually really concerned about her sculpt here. I still kind of am. Like, I noticed that the bangs that are coming out on the sculpt of her Nendoroid for others, they're not coming out as clean as I would hope. But these don't look too bad. Hopefully they photograph well. We'll go ahead and remove the additional dust covers. There are also dust covers in her neck and waist. And under her skirt as well. So this is like the cutest little touch, which I haven't seen on the Nendoroids before. Maybe I just overlooked it. But they have good smile logos on the joints. That's adorable. So there we have it. She is so cute. And I love that her default face is like a tiny blushing face. She is a little bit looser. I don't know why her, like especially here with the head, you can see it's a little bit looser than it normally would be. And it does seem that it could be due to how the peg fits in the socket. Like maybe the hole's like a tiny bit bigger than what it should be. However, like I'm just gonna have her display it standing up anyway, so that won't be a problem. As far as the detailing, it's great. Her bow has a nice matte finish. Her eyes are nice and blue. It seems like they basically didn't have to do too much with the, with the uniform because it's essentially just Kaguya. Uh, with that only with white socks instead of black socks. I'll also go ahead and include some b-roll footage for you at the end of the video that way you can enjoy the different dynamic poses she has. So also you'll see that she has her face plates, happy, blushy here, typical cheek hat, and then you also have by far my favorite face um, and this is the like the sad like how could you say that face and it is adorable. I love that they include the, these dramatic type hilarious faces. They would make for some great shots. And then lastly, what I wanted to go over was more of the hat. The hat is really great detail. It has the additional bow here on the side. Does that display over her bow that she has now? We can find out. Yeah, I mean, it's, it seems like it does. Not too bad, it doesn't seem like it's fitting terribly so it's not scratching any paint. A good accessory. I did notice that the hair sculpt is a little bit weird. Um, we've got these two little parts here that lead up into the hair and they seem to move a bit. I'm not going to take them out because you know I'm not going to risk that. But um, I do also see like a couple defects like here in the sculpt. They're not really picking up on camera but they're, they're very minor and I can't really tell. I think that concludes it for the unboxing. Uh, of course, we do have the additional features here, like the text and logos, but those are pretty standard with a lot of additional accessories. So uh, they're there, though. If you want to display them with the text, uh, go ahead. Be my guest. So I'll go ahead and get her posed up, and then we can see how cute she looks after. All right, so there is the unboxing of Chika Fujiwara. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's a super cute figure. I can't wait to go through the poses here in the B-roll footage. But besides that, I just hope that they have more Kaguya-sama and Androids coming out. It's more Kaguya-sama merch in general. I would love Hayasaka as a Nendoroid. She is so badass and she would be my pick for the next uh, release if they have one. Besides that, go ahead and sound off in the comments who your favorite character in Kaguya-sama is. And let me know if you want to see me unbox any other type of figures from Kaguya-sama. I can definitely look into that. I'm willing and up for it. Also, feel free to follow my Instagram at myheartondisplay. I also have a TikTok. It's my heart on display, but I'm not really active there so far. Uh, normally, I just use it to look at funny ass memes. Lastly, I do have a My Figure collection under the name Amorous. It will be in the description below for you to follow. If you want to be friends on there, go ahead and add me. And that will be it for today's video. Have a great rest of your day, guys, and take care.